Happy Sunday morning. How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Body beat down here. Going for a little walk. And we'll have a little talk. Walk and talk. <laughs> anyway. So... What's there to talk about? I don't know. I ain't done much. Yesterday, Saturday was... Well, Saturdays are rough. I don't know why it is, but Saturdays I am just tired. can hardly get myself to do anything. I mean, yeah, I'm still fighting, uh, fighting off the little snotty cold that I have, but... Even when I'm not doing that. Saturdays are one of those days that I'm just worn out from doing nothing. I get up and I eat my big old breakfast. Well, most times I gotta go to the store, but I eat my breakfast and I think things are gonna go okay, but then it's like Man, I'm ready for a nap as soon as I wake up. A lot of it is depression, whew, anxiety. You know, I know these things, I know the feelings. So, a lot of it's that. And you have those things fighting, fighting you, uh, it wears you out. It's like you just got done pulling concrete by how you feel and I know that feeling so I think a lot of it's that a lot of it's just also stress you know you get you got problems in your in your household your immediate family kids and stuff like that and what have you and Stuff like that drags you down. What else drags you down? The world around you. The economy. The economy has went to crap. Eggs are back up. About four dollars a dozen. Housing prices through the roof, interest rates high, everything crazy. But yeah, everything is just everything's beating us down. You know, the world was crap to begin with, the economy wasn't perfect to begin with. We've had moments throughout recent history where the economy was garbage. Well, let's face it, guys. Since 2020, it's just... It's went way below crap. And it's affected people mentally. All this stuff has affected us. Again, nothing was perfect to begin with. I've been battling depression and anxiety my whole adult life, nearly. And, you know, you're always going to have issues with kids and issues with this and that. But So I'm not necessarily talking so much about that. It just seems like a lot is kind of changed gotten worse maybe it has maybe it hasn't I have no idea so again just to touch base Thursday I woke up feeling cruddy again like I was a couple weeks ago 
so I've been kind of fighting off this little cold and just like I had a couple weeks ago so still fighting this off and I mean I'm feeling okay today but I felt okay yesterday I thought but I was in bed by 8 20 8 30 and I pretty much I didn't even really hardly mess with my phone or anything I just pretty much went to sleep and woke up around one or so whenever my wife came in the bedroom and then I couldn't get back to sleep so I just got up and I finally went back to bed finally went back to bed around I don't know probably 5 5.30 I don't know somewhere in there so this week kick a rock this week's working out is going to be completely different matter of fact if I can manage to keep myself from it I'm not going to even use a barbell or a dumbbell or anything I'm going to just try to do something we're gonna be doing a week of burpees jumping jacks push-ups sit-ups you know, uh, possibly a couple of extra walks. Now I won't video all the little walks or nothing, but maybe a bike ride, maybe this, maybe that. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. You may find me. Oh, I hear some idiot. I love it when they do that. Anyway, you might find me at some playground somewhere, climbing around on all the playground equipment or something. I don't know. It's just, uh, I don't really have a plan plan. It's just I've been thinking about this now for about two weeks. And I was going to do that this past week, but I thought, no, I'll put in... One more normal week of working out and then the, that and then the week you know this week coming up I'll do something a little different because well I don't know but because I thought well we're out of school for Thanksgiving which means we get out of school Wednesday Thursday and Friday so I thought, okay, we'll just do something a little different that week. Kind of give me, you know, a break from all the same old, same old stuff. And uh, this again goes with, God, I'm breathing hard. Jeez Louise. This here goes with all the stuff that I've talked about in the past of, Whenever I started working out again, I wanted to do things a little differently. And I don't have those things right now, but like tires and like sandbags and different things like that that I can utilize in a, a workout. I don't have that kind of stuff. I just, I keep putting it off. I need some of those rocks in my driveway. I believe they call that rip wrap. I believe. I need some of that in my bus driveway. Whew, I got some bad spots. I'm not gonna come up here and get those rocks though. But I need some. So 
this coming week might be a disappointment for some of you if you're wanting to see kind of the same old same but uh, you know I want to give myself a little break everybody needs a little break and when you give yourself a break like that sometimes you come back stronger sometimes you come back better sometimes you come back a little bit more refreshed so and believe me what I'm talking about doing is kind of more cardio based so it's not like I'm taking an easy week because that stuff kills me you've seen me do burpees my body don't move <laughs> you know it's just I don't have that kind of mobility or those lungs or that heart that I had years ago you know so Speaking of mobility, and I've thought about doing this for years, literally years, but if I were to take and video me when I first wake up, like for the next hour, it could be for the next couple hours or so, it just depends. You would see what's wrong with me with my back oh boy it's just terrible and I go through it a lot I go through it a lot I noticed on Saturdays or any day we'll just say Saturdays when I get up to go to the store and normally I feel okay-ish when I get in the car at the house and then as soon as I get to the dang store it like it hits every time and I'm in pain and I look stupid walking around the store limping and breathing hard and having to twist every kind of way to try to put groceries in the cart and then get them out and it's embarrassing. It sucks. Such pain. I don't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies. Not even my worst enemies. I don't wish my back pain on anyone. Michael? How do you work out? I've seen you deadlift. I've seen you squat. Good grief, man. What are you talking about back pain? Certain things aggravate me, certain things don't. And it's been that way since the day I hurt my back. Certain things, certain things trigger it and certain things don't. It's crazy sucks it zaps your life out of you and again that's where my depression started for years I thought that it started because I had some marital issues at one time but technically my depression started when I hurt my back so been going through it for a minute or two. It's a beautiful day out, guys. So, I'm kind of looking forward to next week and the just to see what I come up with to do each day. I'm going to try and do my best to, to really get a workout and not to kind of take it easy. But to really 
really get a workout. That don't mean I'm wanting to kill myself because, you know, again, my cardiovascular system, my endurance and all that isn't up to par. So, don't want to give myself a heart attack before the holidays. It's a perfect day today. Nice and sunny. Cool out. Nice little coolness to the wind. A little bit of wind going. Nice. You ever just go outside and look up in the sky and be amazed? how we're just kind of here that bird flying right over me probably gonna poop on my head so today guys getting my walk in and my talk still got to hit the heavy bag which I wish I would have already done but again I haven't been a hundred percent or anything so I'm feeling pretty decent right now so I gotta get my heavy bag done so you can look for that video if I can find the energy and <clears throat> I can find the energy and not be too lazy I'll also do a uh, some drumming or making noises I like to call it I'm the only guy in the world that thinks when vehicles are loud like that there's a problem <laughs> I've never liked loud vehicles motorcycles no I don't like loud loud we don't need loud that means there's a problem so I've not ate breakfast yet or anything slip in a little while like I said I finally fell back asleep so it is 10 it is 10 30 haven't had anything to eat yet or did I I did when I woke up at like 1 30 or whatever it was realized I couldn't go back to sleep I got up and had a biscuit and gravy I ain't gonna lie had a biscuit and gravy so I did have that early 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 this morning <laughs> you know how you wake up and you have that empty spot in your stomach well that's what happens so be on the lookout for the couple of videos going out today and uh Next week, I'm going to try and keep you somewhat entertained with my different workout. We'll see how it goes. I'll try to do something and uh, keep you entertained a little bit. So, guys, if I give you a little inspiration to do a little better for yourself inside and out, nutrition-wise activities etc maybe like share subscribe comment all that good stuff to the body beat down and don't forget get up get out get red do it to it and we'll see you next time on the body beat down 
Have a good week, guys. Get up, get out, get ready, do it, do it!